Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the highest of vibration and highest of white light. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently i called in one of the purest of white lights okay all negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you is returned to you as we speak as i have said so shall it be judgment is final okay so someone cool oh Someone could be receiving some type of message here that's not good news. Oh, someone is not happy, obviously. They may have received some type of letter, email, text message, whatever it is. And they're not happy about what they are hearing. Okay, someone was expecting to hear good news that things were going in their favor. Or that they have brought some type of ending to someone. But it looks like things have taken a, long, uh, a wrong turn. Things are going in like a haywire out here. My last message was kind of serious and a little bit on the grumpy side. So I'm hoping this one is going to be a little bit more exciting. But something, someone is disappointed because something is being looked over. Okay, someone has not really been... Uh, this is like someone that, you know, like they walk around acting like there's something that they're not. This is one of those people where they act like they're very nurturing, very caring. You know, like they look out for people, they're genuine and things like that, but someone is not, and someone is being exposed for that, okay? This is like someone pretending to be spiritual, someone pretending to be healed, but someone has not really been doing the work to be healed. They have been putting the efforts, right? And something may be exposed about them or to them, and they're very much disappointed about that. Someone is losing a lot of money or already lost a lot of money and things like that. It's that someone is walking around basically with a mask. It's that, do they know I'm a snake? Is that, yeah, they know you're a snake. Do they know I'm slimy? Is that, yeah, you're slimy. We know. It's something like that. I think someone thought they could fool you, but they're realizing that they cannot, you know, the truth about them and everyone else. Someone may have been waiting for something to, oh, dang. Yeah, someone received bad news. Someone received bad news. They won't be receiving some type of wealth. Dang. Someone received some type of bad news. They were expecting to get a hold of some type of property, some something that belongs to someone else, someone may be having to leave a home. Someone may be having to return some type of inheritance they stole. Someone may just be being exposed. Maybe someone has been pretending to be of high honor and they're being exposed. You know, honey, you can only pretend so for so long. Eventually, the most high is going to say, okay, I've had enough of this. You've entertained us long enough and now it's time to live in your truth. And they'll rip that mask off rip the veil off and now you have to accept things for what it is and this is what someone is going through so, someone has that empty their bank account trying to block you not realizing they were just blocking themselves and for some of the people in here maybe they don't they haven't experienced the karma yet that's to come so they may be sitting still pretty feeling okay about everything feeling content with a smirk on their face like I'm in the good. I told you I had this down. I had this cover. Everything was okay. Um, you're done, sir. You're done. There's a hard road ahead of you, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. I'm telling you, there's a hard road ahead of you. Something is not as it seems. You're under some type of delusion. Okay? Someone received some type of message. Things are not going in their favor. I said, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. It's not going in your favor. And someone is devastated about this. Someone like, I don't know if someone's refusing to use, someone's refusing to let go of something. Someone is refusing to let go of some type of mentality. Okay? 
they're refusing to let go of some type of mentality. It may be really toxic. Someone has this thing where they like to control people and it's not something they do like out in the open. This is like someone, uh, 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 they'll like bust your car tires and while you are away, not paying attention, or maybe you're off asleep or at work or something, they'll come and bust your car tires. And then at the end of the day, when it's time for you to go home, if you're at work, you are kind of freaking out. Say, my car tires, my car tires, someone busted my car tires. And then this slimy individual will come in and say, oh my gosh, who would do such a thing? Would you like a ride home? Honey, don't do it. That's this kind of person, okay? That's this kind of people, okay? They thought they were going to steal something, take something. Someone invested a lot, and they're not getting what they thought they were going to get. It's a heartbreak. It's disappointment. Someone's going through a lot of tumultuous emotions and things like that behind the scenes. And it's well-deserved. They betray someone. Someone has been like... <gasps> You know, someone may have like spent some money before they got it. You all know in the in the world of gangsterism, if that's a word, uh, in the world of common sense, that's a word. You never spend money that you don't have. You never allocate what you don't have. Okay, so someone may have overspent, or they got comfortable thinking that they were in the clear. Honey, you're not. Life, from our human perspective, is never promised. Nothing is certain, so you should never feel so comfortable in life that you think something is secure. It's never. Okay? So whoever this is that has been pretending to be of high honor, to be just, to be you, yeah, they're being exposed. They're not. Someone is being exposed as a traitor. Someone is malicious. Someone is going through a lot of heartbreak. Whatever they were intending for someone else is happening to them. You know, someone someone has been very determined to take from someone else just to have someone in, in deplority. I'm telling you, they're heartbroken because you're still protected. You're still defending yourself. You're still standing up for yourself. You still have a voice. You dare to stand up for yourself and speak the truth and be of high moral character. Someone is being exposed. Is that, hey, you told us this person was in the reverse. <laughs> You told us this person was a liar. You told us this person stole and did all of this. It's turning out they're not all of that. And someone does not have the answers to give, so they're turning their back. They say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to act like I don't even hear you. But you can't, okay? You can't. Someone is disappointed by the news that they've received. They say, hey, this person is still moving forward. This person is still protected. Your magic is not working. That's what they're telling someone. Your magic is not working. You've been sending energy to this person's heart. It's not stopping them. They're still alive and strong, moving forward, manifesting a new reality. Okay? There's a group that's absolutely fighting. Oh, <laughs> there's a group that's fighting behind the scenes because all of their malicious ways led to nothing for them. Meanwhile, you are still moving forward, right? You're still moving forward. Someone in here is upset because you may know what it is they're going through behind the scenes. You know that when they show up in public, they're just faking it. But they're living through uh, anxiety, fear, and everything behind the scenes. Okay? Everything someone wished for you is what they are going through. I'm telling you. I keep being told that. Someone thought it was the end of the road for you, and then they found out that you are still protected. Still protected. Okay? There's a queen of pentacles in here that's going to be going through some type of ending as well. Someone is very malicious behind the scenes. She acts like she's in the upright. She may have been paid to do something to another energy, and she's been hiding this. Okay? I'm telling you, going through her ending... Someone pay, oh, someone may have paid a pink queen of pentacles to end someone's stability. So then this person can come in and be Captain C of a whole day to come in and save you. It's a, hey, here's $50,000. How much do they owe you? They owe you this amount? Yeah, okay. I'll give you this amount. You take them to court. You do this with them. And then I'll come in and save the day, okay? 
uh, it's not going according to plan. Someone knows that you they are the last person you ever reached out to for assistance. That there may not even be an option because you know this person is just trying to trap you in something. There may be a few people, a couple of masculines that are doing something like this, the feminine energies. They're setting things up to look a certain way, make it look like it's accidental. It's not accidental. Someone is taking care of stuff behind the scenes so that they can appear to be in the upright. But they are interfering with your life behind the scenes. Yeah, they're causing endings for you behind the scenes. They know exactly what's going on. Exactly what's going on. But you're coming out of an ending and st stepping into a new beginning. Okay, so some of you will be experiencing some type of temporary loss. But it's okay. It's going to be leading to a new beginning for you. But whatever news someone receives, is that, hey, you are with the wrong person. That's not the person of high honor. That's not the gifted person. Okay, that's not the mature woman. That's someone completely false. And they're like, what? Huh? Are you trying to tell me this person is has been fooling me this whole time? No, duh. You're BSing us. Okay? I'm going to try to add a little bit of humor to this uh, video because the last one was just too serious. And I'm just like, oh, these karmics, they're trying to drain our energies out here. What in the world is going on? Trying to drain our energies, trying to kill the vibes. Okay. Someone is going to be put out of a house. A house. They have to return a property. This could be someone's wife. This could be someone's mother. I just saw a car out here. Here it goes. Yeah. Honey, you are coming out of life and stepping right into fulfillment, wish fulfillment. There's something that you are not expecting is going to go in your favor. Like you're ending one karmic or toxic or unhealthy chapter or just going from rags to riches and you're about to be content in life. Okay. Someone may have received a message previously and they were all happy about it. You know, there's someone in here that walks around with a smirk on their face and their smirk is about to be wiped off. It's about to be wiped off. Okay? Someone won't be able to smirk anymore. It's like, oh, poor little Ting Ting. You don't get to celebrate other people's downfall anymore. Is that what you're sad about? You don't get to celebrate someone's downfall? Oh, poor little Ting Ting. You need help. How, why do you thrive off of other people's misery? You need help. That's because a lot of these people were paid money to cause you setbacks. And they don't see a problem with it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is yours is being protected. Like your wealth is being protected. Whatever was meant to be given to you is secure. And someone that's, that, that's really superficial as heck. Mm -hmm. They're living in anxiety. They're having fears. They may not be wanting to talk to people because they're exposed and being seen for who they are. Someone thought they were secure, but they're not. Something is being returned to the rightful owner. They said, hey, ma'am, hey. <laughs> yeah, this train of yours, you spent, you've been running for a long time, misleading people to think that this belongs to you, yet you have to give it back. We're going to need you to evacuate because the rightful owner needs this property, needs this money. We're going to be returning it to them. So this is what's going on. Someone is living in fear because they know they're not going to be having wish fulfillment anymore. They don't get to live a lavish lifestyle while someone else is living in poverty. Okay, they stole something either from a queen of cups and you're about to put an end to this um, period of poverty and step into abundance. Whatever this was, it's done. It's done. Someone may have been in a relationship or some type of collaboration with uh, a Queen of Cups. 
that's not exactly a queen of cups someone said they were going to receive your abundance if they just practice being you perfectly but they're not receiving it they are not receiving it and they are worried that this that this is over it is it is someone got like a c minus in perfecting you being you your personality someone is heartbroken that this chapter is over they said no give me like five more weeks and they're like no we're sick of you <laughs> But this chapter is over and someone is heartbroken. They can't take what's yours. They can't have what's yours. If this is a connection, they cannot have it because someone is keeping their distance from them. Someone was hoping that a masculine or whoever would see them as wish fulfillment. If they master your personality, pretend to have gifts and things like that. And this masculine is seeing this person. If this is an institution, they're seeing this person for exactly who they are. They're like, um, you're not the true queen of cups. Something is not something around here. The logic is not logic in. The spirituality is not spirituality in. Mm -hmm. The intuition is not intuition in. You're liking the intuitiveness. Something is going on here. Okay, we can't get our fingers on it. We know you've maybe practiced something and you may be okay at it, but... There's something missing. We just can't fi figure it out. So, no. And someone is living in anxiety because she's been found out. Can no longer cause illusions. I'm telling you, someone can no longer cause illusions because they know she's false. She is false. She's not receiving something. She's not going to be some though, someone of high honor. She's not a mature person. This is someone emotionally unstable. Okay. Whereas you are stepping into abundance, someone is falling from grace. This was how it was always destined to be. And they are absolutely heartbroken that you are ending this chapter because someone thought they had you locked in, boxed in. They said there was no way for you to turn. They were guaranteed. They were sure. They were 100% sure there was no way out for you. They're like, oh, I got them exactly where I need them to be. But the whole time, it was an illusion, okay? Someone knows that you, as, an high, as a high priestess, whether man or woman, you are of high moral character. Someone may be defending you behind the scenes, telling these people that they all lie. Someone may have told someone, a masculine or an institution, that you are not gifted. You are just pretending to be something you're not. But they're finding out that you are actually gifted, Okay? And someone may be devastated about that. It's making someone absolutely sick to their stomach. They may be in their mind a lot about it because this person may have gone up against you and said, wow, I actually betrayed the genuine person for the false person. So this person must be really gifted at manipulating people. And you know, if you are a true high priestess, a genuine one or an empress, you don't have to do all of that. A true queen of cups, we never have to manipulate. This is a tower for this woman. She is absolutely going through some type of ending. We never have to manipulate. There's someone's wife here as well that's coming after another energy. I don't know why this has been coming out. Someone's wife is like set on destroying another. I don't know if this is their wife or their ex-wife. Whatever this is, the mother of their child. They are set on destroying another energy. This is a no. You can't leave me. I said no. And he's looking at her like, B, who the heck do you think you're talking to? I can do what I want. It's something like that going on here. Something like that going on here. There's either a masculine that just found his voice and he's standing in his truth. Kudos to him because there's a wicked witch around him that has been playing with him, messing with him for decades. And he's fed up. Someone is surprised that a masculine is either talking back to them. Is that who do you think you are? Uh, he's looking like, excuse me? Come again? I'll take you for everything. He said, you can have it all. I don't care. He said, you can have it all. Okay. You've been trying to steal or block this person for a long time. I think this is how she's been keeping this man to her, with her. 
by quoting that over his head that she's going to take everything he's got something like that there's something in here about a child the child may not be his or maybe she had a child with someone just to act like just to kind of trap him maybe that's why he's been staying so long with this crazy unhinged woman there's something like that something going on with a child and i really don't like touching on children topics on here so i'm going to just glaze over that okay some, but she's pissed off that this man is choosing to heal and move on. He doesn't even want to show up right now. She's showing up because she's... Ooh, baby. She's a whole lot. Someone may see you as a queen of cups and they think you are weak as heck. They thought it was going to be easy to destroy you. You were defensive, defenseless, something like that. They didn't expect you to be... Standing up for yourself is what I'm hearing. Moving forward, ending a chapter. Like I'm saying, someone thought they had you like secure in a box or something, some type of closure where you could not move. Like they had you blocked on all sides. They thought they had it figured out. But those are some of the best times, right? When your enemies think they have you blocked in every way, shape, and form. Only for them to be surprised. Only for the most high to surprise them. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. This is all divinely orchestrated. Darling, what in the world are you talking about? And someone is pissed up because you're protected. They're pissed up because you're defending yourself. They're disappointed. All of these people didn't expect you to be standing up for yourself. They thought they had you down. They had knocked you down. You know it's pathetic as heck when a group of people will get together to knock one person down. It's pathetic as heck. That is pathetic as heck. But when you're karmic, you don't see how pathetic that is. You're just desperate to tear, tear someone down. You're just desperate to take someone down that has done nothing to you. It's because you are on heel. You're insecure. You're pathetic as heck. And you always be pathetic. Yeah, this is, this is that's that pathetic. <laughs> this is pathetic as heck. Someone may be trying to keep a masculine in a toxic relationship. Someone is desperate as heck. I'm telling you, she's desperate as heck. She does not want this person leaving. Throwing a fit behind the scenes. Someone is upset. Throwing a fit behind the scenes. Like, no, you can't leave. I'm going to take you for everything. I'm going to take everything from you. I'm going to expose you. And he's just looking at her like, have her do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. We need to make a song out of that for the comics. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. There's a partnership here between a couple of women, a few women, trying to destroy one energy. There could be some masculines involved in here as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Working with an emperor behind the scenes. Yes. Someone wants to pick a fight with another energy. Someone wants to pick a fight with you. Like, they want to make you seem unbalanced or imbalanced just so an emperor can change his mind. He said, look, look, I told you she was crazy. I told you he was crazy. I told you she was unstable. Little does she know this emperor has been watching her. <laughs> he said, oh, really? So you want to tell me you didn't send this message to this person? You didn't call this person and say this to them? You didn't send this person in their energy to mess with them? Uh, and then they said, bup, 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 bup. no response. Nothing is coming up. Someone thinks that an emperor is a fool, but they don't know this emperor has been on to them for a long time. For quite a while. Okay. This is like someone trying to poison you. And they don't know that you know they're trying to poison you. And they come in every day putting drops of stuff in your food, your drinks. And then telling you, oh honey, I love you. Do you want to go out today? Or you just want to watch a movie? I don't know what I would do without you. 
This is one of these people. She may have done it to this emperor. You see this four of swords out here. Someone may have tried to kill an emperor. Someone may have tried to kill an emperor. Yeah, someone tried to end an emperor. If there's an emperor that's sick and passing away, you all may want to look into it. There could be someone trying to un. There's, there could be someone that tried to un life in. Oh, why do ancestors always do this to me? I was literally just just saying like hypothetically. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, someone was definitely trying to end an emperor. And there's an emperor out here planning to end someone, but it's not going accordingly. Someone didn't tell people his actual motives for why he was doing something. And this was to kill someone or to unalive someone, end someone. Well, obviously killing on life or the same thing, but we're just going to go with what's coming out. This person has been planning or was planning to destroy someone. Have them out of here. Have them so down and out they won't be able to come back up. He will be able to come in and make them an offer and then they will accept it. And this is them making a deal with the devil. This man has done this before. This man has done this before. This is not his first time doing it. This is his MO. This is how he gets in connection with people. Okay? This is how this man gets in connections with people, especially feminine energies. He has a plan. Say, hey, you don't know what I did. So, you know what? I'm going to come make you this offer. You're in need of $20,000. I have $20,000. <gasps> did someone steal your car? <gasps> oh, did someone steal your diamond ring? <gasps> did you get fired from work? He's behind it. You won't know. He's going to come give you the money. You're trapped with him. Obviously, you have to pay that money back. And all the time it's taking for you to pay that money back, he's making requests and stuff of you. Things you don't even want to do. This is like making a deal with the devil involuntarily. And this man has done it before. He has a lot of people that are bounded to him. Bounded to him. This is how he has gotten them. By sneaking them, sneaking them like that. Hey. Oh, you having money issues? This this emperor is exposed. I'm exposing this emperor. This is this man's MO. People are bounded to this man. They cannot get away from him because he sets them up. This is the same thing this man was trying to do with you. Block your resources, deplete you of your resources, interfere with your resources, Queen of Cups, to end you. And he thought you were going to come in and be like, oh, sir, oh, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but I really need help. Would you please help me with uh, like $1,000 or something? And he said, oh, sure. I thought you would never ask. And you're looking at what? What do you mean you thought I would never ask? Explain yourself. This is a criminal. This is a crook. <clears throat> This is someone that has martyred himself. They don't know that. I'm telling you, I'm exposing this man. Let me put the sun right here so you all can see. I am exposing this man. This is someone that's very strategic on how he destroys lives. Very, very strategic. Okay, very strategic. And this person may be even surprised that you know what they're trying to do to you. They didn't expect you, of all people, the Queen of Cups, to know what he's doing or trying to do. He said, what? No one has ever figured me out before. I've been doing this for decades. How is this person figuring me out? They have me down back. They understand what I'm doing. How do they know what I'm trying to do? That's because some people, no matter how well you sell your representative, they know. They're gifted. I'm telling you, I'm exposing this man. I'm exposing this man. This is someone trying to block you from having new... Yeah. <laughs> this is someone trying to block you from having a new beginning, having a fresh start, moving 
switching jobs, doing anything. This is this man's ammo. With this four swords out here and then the ten of swords, the four swords has to do with either depth, sickness, planning, thinking, plotting. This man is plotting an ending for a queen of cups. And he has interfered with her finances. He blocked something for this woman. So he could come in and end her, end her stability, end her independence. Someone does not like the fact that you are independent. He so he had you covered on all sides. You can't go there, you can't go there, you can't go there, you can't go there. The only person you can go to for help now is me. And little does he know, nope, <laughs> you're still having victory because you're protected by the universe. Someone does not know that they were exposed to you a long, long, long time ago. But you know who this person is. Someone gives you some type of odd feeling. It's like the energy they put out there is just not all the way genuine. Someone has learned how to mask their darkness, but they're not able to mask it good enough for you. You see them. This is why you're protecting yourself from them. You're keeping your distance. When they make you an offer, you say, oh, no, no, thank you. No, no, thank you. I'm okay. Even though you're not okay, you're okay without... And I'm telling you, honey. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. What does this say? It said negligence, mistakes, setbacks, miss the best time, disappointment, liking cooperation, hyper competitive. Someone was planning to end you and they missed the best time to strike. And this chapter is over. I'm telling you, this man, he's giving me the heebie-jeebies. This man has done this before. He was planning to have you flat out. Flat out. I wouldn't be surprised if this person has eyes on you where you live invading your privacy have people following you around you keep seeing mysterious cars and people just uh, driving past you in places that they shouldn't be you go in an alleyway and there's a car there you're like what the heck is this car doing here you go in the next alleyway that same car is there you're like hmm this looks familiar i've seen you before with someone but this kind of person they'll also get people that you've never seen around them to do their dirty work. Someone is very, very strategic on how they bound people to them, but they won't be bounding you to them. They will not be bounding you to them, okay? Someone may even have like emotions for you, but you don't reciprocate the emotions, right? Someone had an option of going, choosing the love route or the difficult route, the sneaky route, they know they are not here. So they choose the malicious route, which was to get you trapped in something. It's like I've taken your stability away, so now you need me. And these are the types of people that will sit back and smirk happy as heck on the inside when you call them for help. Done, do it. Rely on the most high for assistance. Someone is going, someone is with, I'm telling you, they're fighting behind the scenes. Someone is waiting for a call from you to ask for help. They're going to be waiting for that call until the day they die. Until the day they die. This is someone very malicious and cold. And I don't know if they've always been that way, but this man is doing things that you would not expect someone of this age to be doing because they're so desperate to have you, right? Someone sees you as very beautiful, right? Someone that they want to have some type of connection with, but they know they're not healed. So because they're not healed, they know they're not your type. They're not an option. They are not an option for you. So their way of going about it is to have you stuck so that you can need them, but you're not going to. The Most High is telling you, do not call this person for help if you know who this person is. This person, oh my gosh. This person is like agitating me, basically. 
They're agitating me. I'm telling you. Oh, mom, excuse me. I'm telling you, this person is bribing people behind the scenes to cause you freaking endings. And then the, I just flipped the deck over and the death card is at the bottom. This man is bribing people at behind the scenes to cause you endings. They say, hey, do this to her. Cut off her call. Cut off her lights. Cut off her gas. She's going to call me and let me know what's going on. Okay? Bust her tires. Bust this. Do this. Very malicious. And they don't care how that's affecting you. All they know is you're going to call them. You're going to reach out to them and ask them for help. And the most high is sitting back and making notes of everything this person is doing. And when the time comes, this person is losing everything. Everything. Someone is playing with someone else's life. They see it as a game because they've been successful in doing it before. And they expect, yeah, I'm telling you. They know who you are at core. They're expecting it to work because it's worked a thousand other times before. They like to be in control. Control. This is not a healthy emperor. This man is not healthy to be around. This is someone impulsive, irrational. Most emperors are very stern, solid. You don't have to worry about them being shaky, shaky. But this person is barbaric. It's what I'm hearing, a brute. Thread with caution. Do not reach out to this person for assistance. They see you as their wish come through, but you're not seeing them as your wish come through. Okay? Relationships have to be two-way streets. Emotions have to be two-way streets. And this is someone that likes to have his way. Okay? This man is not going to be having success with you. Any opportunities he had to be with you, he's lost that because he took the wrong route. Someone is very impatient. He is impatient as they come. Very impatient. This is what he was going to have with you. But he didn't have any patience to actually work for that with you. Because he thinks since he has money, then he can just have whatever he wants. And when he meets or comes across something or someone he cannot have, he goes local. That I, I got to take them out. You may be like the first person that's going to defeat this emperor because the other women, maybe they're, they weren't gifted or their, their ancestors told them something, gave them an inkling like, hey, don't get in any type of situation with this man. He's not for you. They didn't listen because he was giving them gifts, making them offers that they thought they couldn't afford to refuse, taking them on trips, buying them cars, all kinds of stuff. And then they found out when they tried to leave, when things got shaky, shaky, and they tried to leave, the demon with him came out. He said, you said, what now? You're leaving to go where? Heck no. You can't leave me. You're stuck with me. And this is someone that asked from behind the scenes. And when he, when you see him, <clears throat> behind the scenes, when you see him, oh, hey, dear. Hey, sweetheart. How are you doing today? How's the family? Very calm and collect. Terrifying for you, Queen of Cups, because you know this person's true court. You know their true character. So when you see them speaking all calmly to you, you're like, what in the world? This monster is really here pretending to be a Prince Charming. What in the world is going on, ancestors? And your ancestors are in the back of you, like telling you, mm-hmm, we told you, this one is a piece of work. Whatever you do, make sure you don't get connected with this person. As a matter of fact, we're protecting you. That's why we're giving you the knowledge to know what this person is doing. Stay away from this person. Stay away. Whatever you need, rely on us and we will provide. This masculine knows he's out of time. <coughs> Excuse me while I get a sip of my vibe, but he knows. Somebody knows. You know the truth about them. They have ran out of time to end you. And that's pathetic as heck. When someone would sit back and cause endings in someone else's life, planning very meticulously how to end you when you've done nothing to them, you're showing up as a star. They're not getting their wish with you. 
they are not getting their wish with you. It is not destined to be because this person, I'm telling you, they're not getting their wish with you. They ran out of time. This person wanted to have a family with you. Nah. Uh-uh. It's not happening. They were trying to force their way into your life. But how you were going to see it by the way they were going about it, you would have saw them as your knight in shining armor. Oh, you know, when they're asking you, how did you two met? Oh, you know, I was going through some hard times. Someone busted my tires and stuff, you know, at work. And I didn't know what to do. I was at a loss, you know, just freaking out and things like that. And here he comes, you know, and he offers me to, you know, replace my tires, buy me a new tire and things like that. And the whole time he's sitting there grinning and you think he's just happy that you're telling the story. But little do you know, it was him that slashed your tires or busted your tires because he had to find some type of way to make it into your life. Because every time he was trying to, your ancestors kept blocking them and blocking them. But for some reason, you kept going around him, going around him. So they said, you know what, we're going to let her learn this lesson. She obviously needs to learn this lesson because we've been trying to tell her stay away from this crazy person, but she keeps going around him. Mm. You know how I know? Because I've met someone like this before. That's how I know. And this was years ago. Years ago. And my ancestors, I wasn't awakened at the time. Folks, don't come for me in the comment section. I was not awakened at the time. And honey... When I say I had a lesson to learn, I had a lesson to learn. Anyways, do not do this. Don't do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You are not going to be having wish fulfillment with this man. Because this man has been plotting to kill you or not kill you, just end you. It's that like he wants to feel needed. This is one of those men that wants to feel needed but in the worst way possible. Like they don't want you to have any other option. Like they want you, want, they want to be the only option in your life. You see how this woman is enclosed in this circle? I mean, in this oval? That's how this man wants you to be. You don't have any other options but him. And he's the one putting you in this little oval. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. These people are fighting amongst themselves behind the scenes. Their wishes are not coming true. They're not getting something. I don't know if people took some type of life insurance out on you or something, and they were trying to take you out, and they can't. You're waking up every day. They're sending spell work to you so you can pass away, but you keep waking up. So the life insurance policy, I don't know if it keeps getting better and better or something like that, or it's aging out, whatever it is, honey, I don't know. I don't know about life insurance policies. I'm not there here. My knowledge on it is limited, okay? I just know when you get to a certain age, I think like either 55 or 65, the value of that life insurance, it starts declining. It said no matter how much of the policy it is you buy, it's still going to be a certain amount once you, once you pass away. That's all I know. Um, but, honey, whatever these people have been doing, trying to block you, I don't know if they paid for a life insurance policy for you or they were trying to, they, they paid to block your, your work, your life, your whatever, honey. Trying to cause destruction in your family life, your home, everything, whatever it is, it's not working. They were supposed to cash out on this life insurance policy a long time ago for someone specific, okay? You have a whole family or institution that has a life insurance policy on you, and they've been sending you energy to kill you off, and you're still here every day, and they're getting pissed off. There's conflict in this family going on about you, okay? They want you to have conflict? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. The universe said absolutely not. This person is protected. Okay, their wishes will be coming true. They are free to go. Their pathway is clear. You're not having a family with this person because they're crazy as heck. Your pathway is clear. You have new opportunities coming in. Someone didn't want you having that. Someone didn't want you having options. They said, I got this. I've been manipulating bras my whole life. 
All you gotta do is show them a little bit of money and they're, you know, whacking their tails and tongue. I have an emperor. And then he met you, you're like, I don't give a crap about your money. I'd rather stay poor than to be stuck with you because I know what you are. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Someone is disappointed because you see the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help him God. He knows you see the truth. He knows. I'm telling you, he's burdened. This man is burdened. He's burdened. You know the truth about him. You're like, uh-uh, sir. That help is the kind of help that, that'll wish you never ask for help again in your life. This man might know he has an ending coming for him as well. Straight planning to end a, a, a queen of cups. And there's a woman in here that was planning to end someone as well. I'm telling you, this is the God honest truth. These people are fighting amongst themselves. This or this emperor have taken care of the job. He might have been working with a queen of cups behind the scenes to end your new beginning and any offers from coming to you. Blocking offers from coming to you. And now they're fighting because you still have a new beginning. Someone is seeing you as business savvy, a fighter, a mother figure, a wife. This is what I didn't want him to see. He sees you as very beautiful and he's taking actions to go for you, go for it, whatever it is. And these people are fighting because the truth is exposed about them and you still have victory. like this if you don't have spiritual eyes you won't know what they're doing you'll see them as your shining star that came into your life just at the right time and saved you that's how you see them meanwhile they're sitting behind the scenes calling you a dumb dumb because they set you up you didn't know that they were sacrificing you the whole time setting you up and they knew the whole time what was going on but you didn't <laughs> you didn't. He said, my, my emperor, my husband is the best. This could be someone's father. My daddy is the best. He looks out for me, you know. Meanwhile, your daddy don't want you going out dating or doing nothing. Your daddy may have some type of sick obsession with you. But this is someone, this is not someone's father doing this. This is a masculine an emperor that's interested in a younger energy or something like that. Or they see you as a younger energy. Maybe you're vibrant. Maybe you're in your 40s, your 50s, your 30s or whatever. And you're very vibrant and lively. And they want to have a connection with you because they see you as very beautiful. And they know you don't, you're not interested because you see the toxicness in them. And you're like, mm, no, 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 no. I've come too far to go back down. Come too far from where I started from. Nobody told us the road wouldn't be easy, but we know, right? <laughs> oh, somebody's being exposed. Somebody touch him. Hey. Somebody touch him. Somebody touch his soul. Oh, oh, oh. His soul needs healing. Because he's dark as heck. Very dark. Very dark. This man is not having any success with you. You are not seeing this person as a wish fulfillment. Yeah. Mm. Yep. This man wants to marry you, honey. But you have a new beginning. And it's not going to be with this person. It's not going to be with this person. It's with somebody new. Somebody new. I don't know whose story this is, but honey, this is fascinating. 
This is fascinating. Will you let us know how this story ends? Because we want to know now. We hope you don't end up with this man because he's really good at masking himself. He's a professional. This is a wizard of disguise. Say, now you see me? Now you're done. Now you see me? Do you see me? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have my mask, my kip on. Now you see me? Now you're done. Who am I? The Quiddo culture said, um, I still see you. I know what you did. My ancestors showed it to me in a dream. Someone was planning your ending with a whole nother feminine energy. With a whole nother feminine energy. Because she's upset she can't get what's yours. Mm-hmm. Because she's upset. You can't get what's yours. You're recovering and moving forward with your life. They want you down and out, but they can't have you down and out because you're extremely protected. You're taking charge of your life. Life, things are going in your favor, right? The universe supports you. You're about to be in a brand new relationship. One of commitment. Lord have mercy. And these people are bothered. They're like, we told him everything. We told you everything about this person. They are not good. Do not go to them. And they're like, well, you know, since you said they're not good, if I go and, and uh, get with them anyways, that's my lesson to learn, right? No, don't go with them. You know, you know someone has something to hide. When you tell them you're going to do what you want anyways, and they lose it. Because this isn't your mama. This is not your daddy. This is some irrelevant bra of man that does not want you leaving and going out on your own and doing your own thing even though it has nothing to do with them but someone wants to be chosen but they haven't done the work to be chosen okay mm, let's see this queen of clubs this is you in the middle these people or someone thought they had all of your finances blocked so like they have your finances blocked you don't have anything in your pocket, in your bank account, maybe out of your home and things like that. You're living in fear and anxiety. This is what they were hoping for you. They were trying to manifest for you. You can see everything, right? They've put around you, blocking you on all sides. So let me start here. They wanted you in sorrows, disappointment, right? No finances, no relationships, no connections. Family member turned their back on you. They wanted you in isolation, basically. No finances, no home, no properties, nothing. No access, nothing to your name. Just a plain gene, irrelevant gene doe, basically, right? Gene doe, but still alive. This was you, okay? Betrayals, heartbroken. You were supposed to be devastated at all of the betrayal you went through by family members, friends, colleagues strangers, people you didn't even know were coming up against you, okay? This was supposed to be you, entrapped, right? Entrapped, just blocked on all sides. It's everywhere you look, there's blockages. Not able to move forward, no offers, no collaborations, nothing. Living in anxiety, fear, right? Uncertain of yourself, uncertain of the people coming towards you. They wanted you being in fear of every connection, questioning everything. It's like, is this person coming to harm me too? Is this person coming to betray me too? And then out, down and out. They were going to destabilize you here. They wanted to say you were sick as well, mentally, mental illness. <coughs> These people were trying to just have you down and out. They may have even been trying to have someone put in a mental institution. They said, we told you this person is mentally ill. They're mentally unstable. We need to put them in a psych ward for their own protection and for the protection of the community. And there's someone looking at them like, you need to be in a psych ward. What do you have to say about that? My brothers, my sisters, it's crickets. No response. But this is what these people were trying to manifest for you. They feel like they have you circled in. This is or they felt like they had you circled in and said, well, we have you cornered. There's no way out. Let's see what you're going to do now. <laughs> and then Sora stepped in and said, hey, new beginnings. 
education, loyalty, stepping out into the world, having new experiences, celebration, power. <coughs> <coughs> Someone thought the whole group thought they had you out. And whoever this other point of cups is that was pretending to be you, this is everything she's about to be going through. Everything she's about to be going through. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Baby, they're going up against each other's now. The friendships are not friendshiping anymore. Mm-hmm. People are starting to see things from a higher perspective, seeking advice. They, what do you think is going to happen to me? What do you think? This is what they didn't expect. They're betraying each other now, fighting amongst each other. Because someone sees the truth about all the blockages they were causing. Okay. You're moving forward. You and whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with, you're moving forward. You're going to be celebrating. Baby, celebrating. You all may have a story to tell. Someday, you're going to have a story to tell. You'll be sitting there reflecting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, star, you see that? You're coming out of financial like Things are going in your favor, darling. You are coming out of financial like. No more financial like. You like security? Honey, this is what's coming for you. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're not trapped. People thought you were trapped. These people have manifested something horrendous for themselves. Someone thought they had you trapped. I'm telling you, had you trapped on all sides. You're not. You're the star. Your wishes are always granted. You always get your way. And that pisses someone off in here, or these people. She always get her way. He always gets his way. They are pissed off. But honey, you can't help it if the Most High loves you. You can't help it if the Most High loves you. I don't know what to tell them. Our star seeds cannot help it. Okay? Our star seeds cannot help it because the most high loves them. You are free to be. You're free to go. You are free to go. It's what I'm being told to tell you. You are free to go. You may have people still trying to pick fights with you even though they know this war is over. You are free to go. Free. Free. There's a masculine that's being free as well. Free himself from a toxic relationship. Toxic institution. They're trying to keep him trapped and say, Hey, hey are you sure you want to do that? These people are playing some type of mental game with someone. They're playing some type of mental game with him, manipulating him. This could be a masculine that's just, maybe he just gave up a long time ago and just let these people do and say whatever they wanted to keep the peace. So he just started doing what they wanted and, and it's been years now and he's basically accustomed to letting them do what they want to do or tell him what they want and he just moves. Something like that. He's allowed these people to break them, but he's finding his strength now. And he's freeing himself from this mess. He's leaving someone out in the cold. Maybe there may be a woman being pulled out as well, losing a home. Is it? You mean I have to leave? Uh, yeah, you, you, you have to leave. You have to leave. Okay? You have to leave. But Starcy, you're free. You're free to go. You are free. I'm telling you, you're free. You're free to go. And these people in their greeds, they can stay with one another. They can stay with one another. 
You're going to be free to be, free to be you. I'm telling you, free to be you. This is about to come out in the reverse. And I'm going to put it in the reverse. Yeah. It was sideways. This family is fighting. They're fighting amongst themselves because you're still receiving what's yours. There's a whole lot of hostility going on in this family. It's a hostility, aggression, conflict, impulsion, extremist, excessive enthusiasm, reckless action, imprudence. This family is fighting because they know they were reckless in the past. Reckless with you. Fighting amongst themselves. They're unhappy because you're free to be, free to go. I'm telling you, they're, they're fighting because you're getting what's yours. Balance is being brought into this situation. They are fighting, literally fighting amongst themselves. They are fighting amongst themselves. They don't want you to have this new beginning. They don't want you to be abundant. They don't want you to... Oh my gosh. Look at that. They don't want you in a masculine having this new beginning. While they've been fighting with this man, they've been tr trying to trap you and break you and end you. So you and this man have been mirroring each other. Hmm... There's a man in here too that's possibly going through some type of homelessness as well. He may have came up against you, something like that. But you have a match and you two will be connecting. You're going to be building some type of successful empire. The Ten of Pentacles gives me empire, work, business, success that's achieved based on hard work. Or sometimes, just sometimes. It can be an inheritance from someone, family, lineages, something like that. But your dreams, darling, are secure. They're protected. The Most High wants you to keep on dreaming, keep on working on fulfilling your dreams and things like that. Don't let anyone discourage you from moving forward. Do not let anyone discourage you from moving forward. Someone is leaving an institution, taking action to go for what they want in life. They may be communicating with you. They've been watching you, right? They want to heal things with you. You're showing up in the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands energy, standing in your truth, taking charge, and you're going to be abundant in your new beginning. <laughs> Dang. These people have been paying for you to be blocked in work, in love, family, trying to bring this, oh my God, this harmony is what I was trying to say. Trying to bring this harmony in your life, in your family, trying to separate you and your children, your husband, your domestic partner, bringing you fights, picking fights with you, all kinds of stuff. They wanted to come in to fight you, but they can't. They cannot bring any fights to you. So they're fighting amongst themselves because you didn't do anything to these people. Stand your ground. Someone is upset that you are standing your ground. They say, if there's no one to uh, stand by me, protect me, help me, I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> if someone is pissed off about that. <laughs> They're like, how dare she have the audacity to stand up to us? Who the heck does she think she is? But it's more like, who the heck do you think you are trying to destroy an innocent energy? You came for a high priestess? You came for a high priestess? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? These people are naturally protected by the universe, the ones that are in the upright. They don't even have to ask for protection. It's automatically given to them. And then she's showing up as the star, a wish come through, someone that's a healer, a blessing. Her star shines brighter than any other star in the sky. And she's being set free. And you have the audacity to come after them for what? Greed? Money? 
I keep hearing life insurance. Someone out there, an institution or a family, family member took a life insurance policy out on you and their time to have you out of here is over. They ran out of time. They are out of time. And this person is worried. They're thinking a lot. How is this going to turn out? What's about to happen to me? Yeah, it's the end of the road. You're not getting that money. You are not getting that money. It looks like it's the end of the road for you. You celebrated a little too early. You and your group of friends. You celebrated a little too early. You can walk around with all the facades you want, pretending to be happy. But honey, people know true happiness when they see you. You're living in fear. And even though you're living in fear and anxiety, you're still plotting to end someone. And it's going to lead to your ending as well. This person is still moving forward. There's something about people not wanting you to know how powerful you are, your gifts and things like that. Uh, there's something about a company as well. They don't want you to know that you have power in that company. Honey, it's going to be exposed. And when it's exposed, a lot of you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Source, what is your message to us? What is your advice to us? What should we be aware of today? Okay. Thank you, Source. Can you give us another? Okay. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. 888. I'm definitely putting that in the title of the video. You best believe it. Okay. And then we have 555. Five. Awesome. 888. That is the number of infinite blessings from the universe. This is when you've been through a journey of tumultuousness, lessons after lessons after lessons after lessons. By the time you are at the end of the road, you're like, oh, I can't go any farther. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Okay? I'm done. I can't do it anymore. That's when the Most High comes in and they say, hey, look at you. You made it. Barely, but you made it. Here's what we have for you. And then the blessings starts floating in, flowing in, infinite blessings. No one can take from you. Like this Ten of Pentacles. No one can take it from you. They're like, you deserve this. You deserve this. We're so proud of you. And your ancestors are celebrating you upstairs and everything. They're all around you. I'm telling you, celebrating you. They're like, yes. Yes. She did it. He did it. He actually healed our bloodline. He restored our bloodline. She restored our bloodline. She healed our bloodline. Your Some of your ancestors of the dark are coming into the light because you've done things in your lifetime that they were unable to do because they didn't know any better before then. But now they see that it's possible. So you're healing in many different ways. So the universe is rewarding you. But then, honey, when you by the time you get to that finish line, it's the, oh, I can't do it anymore. Help me. Is there anyone to help me? There's someone to help you, but the, your ancestors will sometimes they'll kind of sit back to see how committed you are if you're going to stick to your contract because they want you to grow. If you don't have these experiences, you're not going to grow. You are not going to grow. If you're not learning to stand up for yourself, you're not learning to speak up for yourself. If you're living in fear and everything, you're not going to grow. So they will sit back and have you go through certain experiences just so that you can mature, you can grow, and you can ascend, you can heal. Because as you grow, ascend, and heal, they are doing the same thing too, especially the ones in the dark. You know, those ones that are in the in-between, in that realm where they don't feel like they deserve forgiveness. They don't feel like they deserve to move on. So they're just kind of lingering, watching the humans go by with their life. And they can't indulge in the physical uh, uh, pleasures of life and they can't ascend because they are refusing to forgive themselves and see things from a higher perspective so they're the ones really keeping themselves in that realm of in between yeah every time you do something to heal yourself to elevate yourself you're doing the same thing for your ancestors sometimes that's why you all are incarnating because your ancestors are hoping that you will do something different this lifetime to help them come out of the dark okay so some of you that are such narcissists that you think it's your life mission to end someone 
in other people destroy other people you're doing nothing but setting your lineages back and your ancestors are watching you from upstairs like oh my gosh again this lifetime we're still here we're gonna be here again oh my gosh because you haven't done anything to help them some of you all you do is ask your ancestors to do this do that and they don't want to work with you because you're ungrateful you're not giving to them you don't show gratitude you're asking them to do things that are dark, which means it's keeping them in the darkness. This is why a lot of the times they'll distance themselves from you because you're not helping them. Even though they're in the dark, they may be for the dark stuff, but they get tired too. Like, We've been here for 10,000 years and here you come again, keeping us here. We want to heal. But some of you are so far gone and damaged, you don't understand. Like it goes a lot deeper than just you Everything you're doing, you're passing it on. When your children are born, you're passing on generational curses to them. Is that we've been dark for 400 years. This is family traditions. And you don't understand that you're passing on misery to your children. Your children's children. You may be successful in your darkness this lifetime, but your generation, the generation after you may not be. You're setting them up to fail. This is why sometimes they don't, you don't understand why you have children and they cannot prosper in life. You're living, a, living the La Vita Loca and your child can barely get a job. You know, they can barely uh, uh, function. They're drug addicts and all kinds of stuff. It's karma. Or they have some type of illness. There's no healing for, there's no uh, cure for. It's karma. It's karma. Okay, so think about that when you're coming after people. Okay, eight, it said your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Be representing, huh? Oh, okay. By representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation, I am successful. I think they forgot to put the Y, but that's human nature. It's okay. So that's, that's, hey. Mm-hmm. What do we see in here? When we're talking about a man coming in, trying to make you think he's coming in to save you after setting you up to end you and they're telling you you're self-sufficient. Thank you. <clears throat> These messages just be uh, clicking. 88, which sums down to 16. And then seven, which is also the number of luck. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. We are claiming that one. Okay. Do not let anyone make you feel like you need them. No matter how deplorable your state of living may be, sometimes the devil comes with an offer that's too good to be true, and you need to be alert, be vigilant, okay? You need to be alert and vigilant. Trust the Most High to see you through. Trust your ancestors to see you through. Trust your guardian angels to watch over you and protect you from, from destruction. Mankind, they will always try, always try to destroy you, someone. It's not just you going through whatever you're going through. There will always be someone that other people are trying to destroy. And oftentimes, they're trying to destroy you because, what well, they are intimidated by you. You have something that they want. They cannot have it. So they decide, well, I'm going to destroy you then since I can't have this thing that belongs to you. Okay? Someone wants to have your future, your destiny, but they cannot have it. It is... For you that's why it's called destiny okay that's why it's called destiny it's set in stone it's a promise from the universe to you that something is yours you are you only you can be you okay anyways thank you for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next video and goodbye for now